Hey there, welcome back. Um, I came out from the office to get some tomatoes for my salad for lunch, and I was very unhappy to discover a few of these new friends in, that are eating my tomatoes. This will give you the heebie-jeebies and the creepies. But look at these guys. We had a few of them last year when the garden was smaller, and what happens is these horned caterpillars, they love tomatoes, and um, their larvae will go into the soil. So I guess they grew up and they're enjoying my tomatoes this year. Um, only way to remove them is physical removal, so I'm not doing it. That's why Brian has the gloves on, but I will search and find, but come with me because they are so hard to find. Um, I mean, camouflage 101, this is your class right here. So there's actually three in this, I'm staring at three of them. It took me a while to find them, but they are right here. So let's point out number one is right here. And they're mostly found at the top of the tomato plants, which is why I thought that I had deer coming by eating. Look at this. See right here? I thought, oh my gosh, the deer are coming in here and snipping off the tops, but it's not. It's this guy right here. Boo! Yep, and then there's another one right here. I am not touching them. They look so disgusting and gross. I'm gonna have nightmares, but yeah. It's not always the deer that get your plants. And that was working really hard. That bad boy. At growing this stuff and I the heck if I'm gonna have these monsters take over. So now I'm on the hunt for the caterpillars. And oh we got more over here. Where? Oh we got this guy right here. You gotta get the little one on the top. See how camouflaged she is, guys? That's crazy, isn't it? Oh, it's another one. Right here. Yep. There he is. Look at that. There's his horn. I don't know. He feels like something from an alien invader. Oh, they are really. Get this one too, Brian. This is a little one. Little ones grow up to be big ones. And eventually, if we did not. Yeah, they got suctions on them too. Holy smoke. Remove them, they would turn into moth. moths. Moths? Moths. Here, this one's like trying to be sneaky and gone. Sorry, little guy. You're out of here. But you can tell. Look what they've done. So this is a telltale sign. Also, one thing I noticed yesterday when I came out was I saw black drop. Oh, here's another one. Holy smoke. I saw black droppings on some of the tomatoes. And I thought, what is this? And then I started looking closer and said, somebody. Oh, here's another one. See, he's about to poop too. That's where the little droppings come from. All right, so that's three. Oh, let me put no, these guys more. over here real quick. We just put them in here, and they're super. Man, they are, they got like suction cups, man. Get off the glove. There we go. Super hard to see. But they they're generally going to be at the top of the plant, um, so at least that's an advantage I have, and um, in finding them. But I really don't like to mess around now and grab some of these. Um, leaves and branches because I'm afraid I'm gonna land on a squishy caterpillar and it'll just be grossed out. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else. I mean you got to be looking really careful. I mean you got to go super slow. I mean these guys are like the masters of disguise. masquerading or disguise. Yeah. Masters of camouflage. Big time camo guys. And look, I need all these tomatoes so I can make some tomato basil soup, some pizza sauces, all kinds of stuff for the winter for roasts and stews. Did you see anything else up here? I did not, but who knows? And we don't, we don't, guys, we don't want to put any um, pesticides on this stuff because then it's then they're no longer organic. Yeah. And we don't want to eat that uh the pesticides for sure yeah. oh i found another where, one where is he oh looky looky mr slick look at this guy i don't even see him oh look at him. Look at him. this is like hide and seek look i think he's oh there he is somebody has been oh, oh here's another one look let's get him off of here almost like easter hunting but a different kind of hunt look brian look 
I found the eaten, the chewed up leaves. Look, somebody's like, oh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Yes, we do. See, those are the, ch those are the tops that are chewed off. And he's getting. And then look at him down here. He's like, um, you don't see me. Did you eat this? Oh, look at that. Did you eat this? Ugh. Little rascal. Look at, him teeth. look at him teeth on this guy. Where is he? Do I got him in here or not? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And they are just, look at that. He's like, who just messed up my day? Wow. Where there's one, there will be more. So I think so far we've taken, I want to say, seven off just this, in the last ten minutes. They are stinkers. Yeah, the, and guys, these, these guys will... My hair's all messed up. <laughs> These guys will devour um, a garden in lightning speed. Right. So we're going to put these guys over here. Keep and looking super careful. These were volunteers. They kind of grew from some of the grape tomatoes that fell over the side of the garden last year. I'm not too worried about them. But yeah. Else. You know what? I don't think it's the deer, Bri. I think it is strictly these uh, guys. I think it's the little rascals. That's what I'm thinking. Because we want to do a lot of canning this fall. So we've got uh, tomato soup all winter long. But again, we've got to keep the pest out. Actively eating my tomato. And there he is right here. Look at him. Oh, nice bro. And fat and happy. Oh, bro. What are you doing? Oh, I know. Oh. You're going to eat him? Oh, look at that. See, so that's that's what they're doing. Here, have a little, have another nibble. It's okay. Your last nibble, your last meal. So that's what they're doing. Whoops. Well, there it goes. Well, you guys got the you guys got the picture. So that's what they're doing. All right. All right. My lunch break is taking me too long. All right, to come guys. save the garden. All right. Well. So thanks for coming along on our garden journey and our home and everything houses and countryside. Ew! Ew! I would never <coughs> sit on that. Uh, With you, bro. Oh, there's another. Look at this sucker. <gasps> All right, hold on, guys. Mm, oh, mm, it is getting mm. crazy oh, here. Oh, there's another one. Oh. I think word is getting out. Word. Right. This is why this plant is not going anywhere. Look guys, at him. Look at that. And this one over here. Look. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Shoot. Holy smoke. It's like out of nowhere they just, boom, emerged. Yep. I'm sorry guys, but right. I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing. So again, thanks for watching. I hope that your home garden and your countryside living is going to come out beautiful. And we welcome you to subscribe to our channel. We talk about everything about living in the country as we're realtors. And if you want to make the countryside your home, don't forget to contact us below. Have a good one.